pranams to all of the dignitaries on the desk, as well as my pranams to everyone present here today. I'm extremely honored and privileged to be here to today amongst all of you. And as some of you from my state may know, the relationship with the Brahma Kumaris and my family has gone back almost three generations. And many times we have been invited here, including myself over the last five years, have been invited to come to Mount Abu and take part in a program or this world conference. And while there were many hindrances, I am extremely, extremely happy today to finally come here and have darshan of this very holy place. So I thank you all for having me here. And once again, all of the organizers of this program, my special thanks to you all. As I was made aware, there are many people here from my state who are servicing, I thought it apt to say a few words in Kannada. Namma Rajadinda illi yeshto Kannadi guru bandhu illi seve maartta eraddu kheela dinda on salpa yad maat Kannadi dal heela dhu sukta anta anstu. Namma e samste avandhu vikshne maadadda samayadalli namge gotaito sumaru innu rinda innu raiva tashtu jana illi Kannadi guru illi seve maartta edare. Nan guns to illi number Rajid in the Duri Drukuda, E. Jagak Bandre, Namanetarana Etuanta, so the Kaginim Gavishesha, Namaskaragalumato, Vandanegalano Hilta. I usually don't talk much about my family history, but being in Brahma Kumaris, I wish to just recollect one instance, a couple instances actually, and you will understand why. Uh, I want, wish to recollect them. Uh, today, if my family uh, continues to have an existence and continue to, to take forward the traditions that we have conducted, it is singularly because of the leadership of women. Rani Lakshmani Oru was the one who managed to stay steadfast and despite many years of living under imprisonment during the reign of Tipu Sultan, she was able to overcome it and return rule to our family in 1799 and it is because of the leadership of that one woman that my family is here today. Alongside her, we remember Rajamata Vanivila Sanidana, who was during whose time the seeds were sown for what became the golden age of Mysore. Many institutions such as the Indian Institute of Science, many infrastructure works like the many dams across Karnataka state and many other social welfare impetus were put up. So these two women with a lot of other Maharani's uh, contributed tremendously towards our family legacy and I wish to only bring this up because in an institution which is led more or less by women and through women leadership I thought it apt because no other no more than our family can understand how important and how much of a great contribution women leadership has given to this country and uh, it is something that is uh, to be lauded and applauded continuously so once again I thank you for that I was today made aware of the many efforts that the Brahma Kumaris are doing here and all of which uh, one greater than the other. I wish to only point out a couple which stand out to me particularly being of my generation. Uh, I was taken to your solar plant which from which you are completely powering this entire campus and I think no more that is proof more than anything else that Brahma Kumari stands for what is bringing in positive technology to create a better world for tomorrow. Uh, our, as you all know, our problems with the environment and with our nature is every day increasing and only by creating such solutions wherein we harness energy sources that are clean can we really benefit future generations and see that they enjoy the same environment we have and our ancestors have. So I wish to once again thank you all for this very laudable initiative. I am very honored to be here today amongst all of you and the th topic for today's or rather this entire conference, India, the harbinger of world peace, I don't think can be more appropriate than anyone else. I believe some of the dignitaries here have already mentioned India has never ever gone beyond its own boundaries in trying to dominate others or attack others or conquest. We have always looked to keep our borders secure 
and keep peace within our own country. So there is no better country to preach world peace and to uh, uh, send the message of world peace across the world. So I once again congratulate you on this very apt topic and I think no better organization than Brahma Kumaris to champion it. Once again, my thanks to you all for inviting me to this blessed place. I am honored once again to be with all of you. My many thanks for the tour, for the uh, brilliant organization, and once again for inviting me here. Thank you all. Om Shanti.